Another classic. Rusty Jux. Archetype on the track. Black. What up? Straight to the top. I'm taking it, taking it. Just for the record, I'm breaking it, breaking it. I did it when they said that it can't be done. To become number one, the champion. Yeah, straight to the top. I'm it is ya boy Beer Gut Plays here with the brand new revival of the MLB The Show 24 franchise here on, well, uh, with the Baltimore Orioles. Hopefully you guys are super excited about this content. If you guys like the content and you want to see this channel grow, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to this channel for more content, and be sure to check out the channel's sponsor for today, W Energy. W Energy, guys, I absolutely love their product. I use it almost on a daily basis, whether it is... You know, whether I need to get a quick workout, do one of these videos, get through one of my gameplay video, get get the gameplay up and loaded or doing the editing that I do. Use the code BeerGut at checkout and you will save yourself a discount on this on your order. Now, guys, I did explain in the channel update video that unfortunately due to some circumstances, that were in my control, but not really. I ended up losing all of the 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 downloaded files for MLB the show and my WWE 2K24 my GM mode. So we are starting a new on this the 2.0 franchise mode hopefully you guys are excited about this content i have a couple moves in mind that i want to do i'm absolutely stoked about what this team can potentially do for us we are actually going to get to the content here and as you guys can see we are going to be using the baltimore orioles ninth team overall 11th in, I believe that's 11th in contact, 16th in power, 6th in pitching, 10th in defense, and 8th in speed. Now, I'm super excited about this team. I think we're going to have some really good, uh, we have a really good roster, you know, with former Cy Young can candidate who we brought over in the last offseason Corbin Burns is on the team and no injuries people so uh Felix Bautista is going to be on the roster we are going to look to dump that contract of Craig Kimbrell now IRL he has been absolutely just terrible for the start of this season uh, well I wouldn't say terrible but he's been very up and down up and down now, if you guys know me, I like to occasionally make some moves that are not necessarily the, you know, I don't always make the best moves, but that's okay. It is, that is part of the fun. We are going to start off in spring training. Now, we don't play any spring training games. Sound off in the comments if you want me to start playing them. We're going to first extend Adley Rutschman and extend Kyle Bradish, who was going to be the ace of our team until we did make that big time move of uh, Corbin Burns. We're going to extend Corbin Burns. We just extended um, Gunnar Henderson, two year deal. Ryan Mountcastle. I I've had this discussion with some people in the past. I think he he may or may not be the answer at first base, but right now he is the guy. Jordan Westberg. Obviously, you guys, if you've watched the previous series, my favorite player is probably uh, my two favorite players, Ryan Mountcastle, Jordan Westberg. Absolutely my two favorite Orioles on this team. We're going to take a look and at the free agency really quick. Nothing really popping out, and that's okay. One thing I do want to do is make a trade. Get rid of... 
Craig Kimbrell, and his... And I'm sorry, guys. Shit, drop my beer. And get rid of his $15 million on the roster. We're going to take whoever is MLB ready. Uh, we might have a deal. And sorry, I'm not drinking beer. I'm actually drinking Angry Orchard. It is a blueberry rosé. It is delicious. And I think the only trade... I can really... Oh, we made the trade. I oh, want to get rid of Colton Wong. Obviously, he's not really going to make a big deal. Ryan McKenna, maybe try and replenish the prospects, but... Is there anything really out there? Now, remember, I started this thing... I had to redo this thing about a week ago, so Ryan McKenna actually is not on the roster as he, I believe he went to the San Francisco Giants. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm already sweating something fierce. We made the trade. And we're going to maybe make one more trade here. Again, apologize. I got off of work at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Chris Bryant, no. Don't want him. Okay, maybe I got off at like 1.30. I'll be honest with you. But I've been slowly drinking these ever since. I do want Will Smith. I think Will Smith would be a very good bullpen arm. Okay, I'll take that trade. There we go. Final trade of... I believe that's going to be the final trade. Again, been super pounding these things. Obviously can't remember jack crap. We're going to add Felix Batista to the 40 man. Well, we got to drop somebody off of it. And it is going to be Nick Vespi. Obviously, we want to have our closer situation secured. I think Felix Batista was it last year. It was last year. He was one of the best closers in all of baseball. Add to the 40. Oh, we can't. We got to add him to the 40 man. Won't let me add him to the 40 man. All right, that's weird. Wow. And we're going to, we've made our trades. I feel like we made some really good roster moves. And we have finally got Felix Batista called up. Samuel Basallo. He was traded. I think they got uh, him and uh, Bauman. They got a really good backup catcher for him. Honestly, don't quote me on this. Um, I did end up cutting the cord. So if you are a Baltimore sports fan, it is really hard to watch Orioles baseball games without cable uh, unless you go on one of them Russian sites. But we make do. I watched the, the game Friday night against the uh, Chicago White Sox with... Um, Apple TV. So, honestly, just going to do my best. I'm going to try and go to a couple games this year. And we're going to try and record 
everything that's going on there. Much like how I did with the WrestleMania experience. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But we're going to continue this content. I feel like we've got a very solid roster on this team. And we're going to simulate... Well... We're going to... Well, maybe not. Again... Maybe if I wasn't drinking so hard, it's Saturday night. We're going to move Cano to just a relief. Well, no. Maybe if I wasn't partying so damn hard, we would have got it. There we go. I think we're pretty well set with the roster. We're going to simulate ahead. to the end of spring training. Jesus. All right, well, look at some stats here. Gunnar Henderson with over with four home runs. Jorge Mateo, oh, Anthony Santander lead it up, led us in home runs during spring training. Now, that is going to be a big thing, Santander. We did extend him, but could potentially be a trade chip. Now, guys, obviously, we got a lot of great talent. The Orioles exploded last year for over 100 wins and got completely massacred by the Texas Rangers in the playoffs. We're going to continue on how things are. And there are some options out here. Now, granted, I do not think the rosters have updated yet. Why? I was thinking about signing him, but Aaron Loop. Wow, that is a name. I haven't heard in a while. We're going to sim to the regular season. Opening day, Patrick Sandoval taking on Corbin Burns for uh, Patrick Sandoval. It is going to be an interesting matchup. Well, well guys... That is going to be the end of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the other stuff that I am running on this channel. It is going to be the, well, hasn't dropped yet, but be on the lookout. It will be dropping Tuesday. WWE 2K20 for my GM 2.0. That'll be dropping on Tuesday. Wednesday, it will be the NBA 2K24 Sixers quote-unquote rebuild and this will be dropping every sunday we will also uh well friday nights will also be dropping uh, a second episode of the my gm mode now hopefully you guys had a great day a great evening hopefully i get to see y'all in the next episode hopefully y'all have a great have a, you enjoy this because i enjoy bringing it to you and peace out my friends Another classic, Rusty Jooks. Archetype on the track.